Welcome you back here to Minden as we have extra innings here in this must-win game for both these teams. This elimination game between the Cozad Reds and the Holdridge Wilkins ADP Juniors just about 3 o'clock on KUVR, 1380 AM, 96.9 FM, or if you are listening along this afternoon on KUVR.com. So here we go into extras. It'll be Gage Strauss to lead things off here in the Top of the eighth for Kozad, and you look back at what could have been. They had runners at first and third with two outs, but Ollie Davis was caught stealing in the seventh, and that could have been the insurance run that could have helped win the game for Kozad. And now lucky to get extras, though, as Holdridge had the winning run at third with two outs, and a ground out to short would end things off in the bottom of the seventh. So here we go, top of the eighth. It is Gage Strauss set to get things going. For the Cozad Reds, it'll be Strauss, Smith, and Atchison do up. So five, six, and seven facing Hudson Otto, who comes in for his second inning of work. He relieved Chance Bailey, got out of a kind of a tough spot back in the seventh when Cozad was trying to add some insurance runs. First pitch to Gage Strauss. Fastball in there for a strike to Gage Strauss. No balls, one strike. So both starting pitchers went six innings, six for Chance Bailey, six plus. Burrow and Ross, here's the 0-1. Strauss looks at one way high. One ball and one strike. So far, Strauss has reached base once on a walk. He did come up back in the seventh, but then again, Ollie Davis was caught stealing, which would end off the seventh. Hudson Otto threw 12 pitches in that inning. The 1-1, big swing and a miss at a fastball. One ball and two strikes on the right-hander, Gage Strauss. One and two, the count as Strauss leads off this top of the eighth. Otto comes set. Delivers the one-two. Breaking ball misses high and inside. So the count is two balls and two strikes. Goes and took the lead back in the sixth. There was an RBI single from Creason Smith, which would give... Kozad the lead, and then a run scored in the bottom of the seventh on an error out in right field to tie this game up. 2-2. Strauss sends foul territory, first base side, long run for the first baseman in Hartsong, and he can't get there. Count still two balls, two strikes to lead off Gage Strauss here in the top of the eighth. Extra innings. Talked about the one-run games for Kozad. All season long, Kozad has played in eight one-run games, and they are 7-1 and one in those games this season. They have found ways in close games. Now, the last one-run game they played in was their first loss in a one-run game. They started the year 7-0 and oh in those kind of games, but then dropped a close game to Imperial last Monday, 11-10. to 10. That was their first one-run loss. 2-2 two -two from Otto. Low fastball, three balls and two strikes on the right-hander, Gage Strauss. Strauss led off the sixth inning with a walk as well and would end up scoring a run. That was the go-ahead run at the time. Trying to get on and do something similarly here in the top of the eighth. Payoff pitch from Otto, 3-2. Fastball low. And it's a leadoff walk to start out the top of the eighth. The go-ahead run is on. First walk issued by Hudson Otto out of the bullpen. So now again, this is where it gets even more trickier. We talked about managing pitchers, but now that you have an extra, at least one extra inning, if not more, to try to deal with managing, having pitchers out there, that could be tough. Tough job, especially if you're thinking about, well, if we win this game, we need to have arms for the next game as well. So Hudson Otto will turn around and chase Gage Strauss back to second base with Jaden Smith now at the plate. He has reached base twice. Smith looks on, pops one up behind home plate. Foul territory, and it'll get out of play and up near the first base side. So no balls and one strike to start out Jane Smith. Nate Strauss hasn't been a huge base stealer this year for Kozan. Wonder if... Was any thought of putting down a bunt to move him over to second? He was up and swinging the first pitch, so I would assume not. Count 0 and 1. The pitch misses well upstairs. One ball, one strike. From Hudson Otto to Jane Smith. Otto, this is his first relief appearance this season. Again, mentioned he is a 
normal starter for Holdridge. Has the count at a ball and a strike. The pitch. Low fastball swung on a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. Smith has struck out twice, both of them swinging in the third and sixth innings. Count a ball and two strikes. Otto looks on, comes set with the one two. Now Smith shows bunt. He puts one down, down the third baseline, and it goes foul. And so the runner is out. And so Jane Smith is out because he bunted on two strikes. He can't do that. And so Smith is out. Atchison now at the plate. With a runner at first and Strauss, who represents again the go-ahead run. One gone now in the top of the eighth. Extra inning baseball here in the postseason from Minden. Big swing and a miss and a nice fastball on the outer half of the plate. No balls and one strike. From Hudson Otto to Ethan Atchison. Atchison has reached twice on a drop third strike and a hit by pitch, but struck out in his last appearance facing Chance Bailey back in the sixth inning. No balls and one strike. Otto delivers. 0-1, Atchison lines into right field. It's down for a base hit. Strauss will stop at second, throw in from Weaver. We'll keep him there, but it's a hit, and it puts the go-ahead run in scoring position. Atchison keeps the line moving, and now Crayson Smith will come to the plate with one gone, and go-ahead runner in scoring position at second base, represented by Gage Strauss. Tie it at four. Kozad and Holdridge, third time meeting this season. Holdridge has gotten the better of the Reds the first two times. Hard to beat a team three times. First pitch fastball misses low. It skips low. Nice block by Chance Bailey. One ball and no strikes. And Bailey doing a nice job after starting the game and pitching six innings. Now going behind the play and making some nice plays at the catcher position. He has been a fantastic catcher all year for the Holdridge Wilkins ADP juniors. One ball, no strikes. Otto fires in the 1-0. Stays high with a fastball. Two balls and no strikes. It is Strauss at second. Atchison at first. One gone, top of the eighth. Two balls, no strikes. The count. To the right-hander in Crayson Smith. 2-0 from Otto. 2-0. Smith sends a weak ground ball over to short. Waldo flips to second for one, and he throws it away. Throws it into right center field. Strauss comes home. He scores. And Kozad takes a 5-4 lead in the top of the eighth. All the way to third is Atchison. Everybody's safe. And an error ends up costing Holdridge. So now runners at the corners for left-hander Braden Gerlushin. Who took over for Owen Ross on the mound. And so now he's trying to give himself an insurance run before heading into the bottom of the eighth as the infield comes in here for Holdridge, at least a little bit. First pitch to the left-hander, Gerlushin. Takes a fastball low. One ball and no strikes. So Kozad up 5-4 to four on the air, trying to turn two there from Waldo. So only one gone in the top of the eighth. Gage Strauss scores the go-ahead run. The 1-0 pitch. Low fastball. Two balls and no strikes. Runners at the corners. Atchison at third. Grayson Smith at first, and, and that old adage, putting the ball in play is better than nothing at all. And that has showed up here in this eighth inning for Kozad. Give your team a chance to outrun some throws and try to score. 2 0 pitch. And this is low and away. Three balls and no strikes on Gerlushin. Still without a hit this year, but he has walked five times. He is 0 for 9 with seven strikeouts. But right now, just trying to do a job, get on base, and get it back to the top of the order. Three balls, no strikes. Otto comes set. The three-nothing pitch on its way. Strike called in the upper and out corner of the strike zone. Three balls and one strike on Braden Grolution, who would likely come out for the bottom of the eighth as well. Trying to shut this one down now for Kozen and looking for some more runs 
support for that inning. 3-1, misses inside, it's a walk. And it loads up the bases, second walk of the inning for the top of the order now. And Matthew Arnton quickly out of the dugout. Comes Holdridge. As the bases are now loaded, it's Smith at second, Grolution at first, and Atchison at third. They did have a courtesy runner go over to first base. Titus Freeman, courtesy. As Titus Freeman will head over to first. Freeman has been a very good base runner this year. Two runs, six for eight on stolen bases. He heads over to first. So it's Freeman at first, Smith at second. And it looks like Hudson Otto will stay on the mound here for Holdridge. Bases loaded, one out. Top of the eighth. Cozette up five to four here in extra innings. They scored on an error. Hudson Otto now facing Matthew Arndt. Arndt who is one for three, singled in his last appearance in the seventh, and he's got the bases loaded. Infield is in. Pretty much to the infield grass, Arndt. Sends a shallow fly ball into left field. Coming over and making the catch is Kidder. Throw to the plate is not going to be in time. It's up the line. Sacrifice fly scores Ethan Atchison. And it's now 6-4. to four. Kozad in the top of the eighth. Just deep enough to score. Arndt knocks in a run. Everybody else stays put. And that's an insurance run now for Kozad before heading to the bottom of the eighth. Now Braden Barber will try to keep it going. It's Smith at second, Freeman at first here for Kozan. Braden Barber comes to the plate. He is 0 for 4. First pitch to Barber, a strike called on the low outside corner. No balls and one strike. Hudson Otto to Braden Barber. It's now 6 to 4, Kozan, top of the eighth. Scored two runs here in the inning, one on a sacrifice fly, the other on an error as Barber fouls one back to the screen. No balls and two strikes. That's the first time where a foul ball has gone back to the screen and it hasn't knocked the crowd mic over today. So happy to see that the crowd mic is holding strong this time. No balls, two strikes. Auto comes set, the 0-2. Breaking ball, called strike three, and he strikes out Braden Barber, and that will end off the inning. But Kozad scores two runs in the top of the eighth to take a two-run lead. They scored on one hit, one error, and two Left on base. We will head to the bottom of the eighth as Kozad needs three outs to win it. Holdridge needs to score two runs to keep it going. It's bottom of the order with Bell, Otto, and Waldo due up. After seven and a half innings, six to four, Kozad over Holdridge. This is the B6 Area Legion Baseball Tournament on KUVR. Welcome you back here as we are in the bottom of the eighth. Kozad scores two runs in the top half of the first inning of extra innings and now are three outs away from winning this one. They did have a one-run lead headed into the bottom of the seventh. We're not able to win it there, but this time they're able to get one extra run. And we'll see if that is the extra run to do it and see if Holdridge can keep this game going. They have bottom of the order with seven, eight, and nine at due up here in this inning. So here we go. Holdridge trying to stay alive. They were the one seed headed into this tournament. And looking to avoid being swept here in the B6 area tournament. Kozan as well. They were the two seed. Lost their first game, but trying to win back-to-back -back games on back-to-back -back days. And they're trying to get to Monday. J.J. Bell to lead off the bottom of the eighth. First pitch popped up. Foul territory. Third base side. Art chasing after it in foul territory. And he can't track it down. Nice effort. Came up short. Looking into this hot July sky. No balls, one strike. As Braden Grolution is now looking to shut this one down here this afternoon for Kozan after a fantastic start from Owen Ross. His lefty righty to start out JJ Bell. And now this bottom of the order has not been an order to or a part of the order to mess around with today. They have reached base five of nine times, seven, eight, and nine has. So this is still a Tough couple of outs that they have to get. 0-1, ground ball over to third base. There's Atchison. Atchison throw over to first. Big reach for Miles Eyde, but he reaches and makes the play. One gone in the bottom of the eighth. So now two outs away for Kozan. Her now is 
would get the win if Kozad were to win here this afternoon. He had a same opportunity in the seventh, had a blown save, but still has an opportunity to shut it down with a win. First pitch now to the right-hander, Hudson Otto. First pitch, nice slider on the inner half of the zone, called a strike. No balls and one strike. Revolution's done a nice job of getting ahead of hitters as Otto fouls one off and out of play. No balls and two strikes. Quickly ahead is Grolution. Looking for his third win of the season. He has a perfect 2-0 record coming into this afternoon, a 3.30 earned run average. No balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch to Otto. Misses away. One ball, two strikes, but it's the kind of pitch you probably like to see in that situation. Don't want to give especially these really good Holdridge hitters something too good on a two-strike pitch. So the count, a ball and two strikes. With one out, the base is empty. Kozad up 6-4 to four in the bottom of the eighth. 1-2, the count, Grolution comes set. Here's the pitch. 1-2, breaking ball, swung on and missed. And now one batter away is Kozad from advancing. First strikeout for Grolution out of the bullpen. Taken over for Owen Ross, who gave his team a chance. And now Grolution trying to finish it off for Kozad here this afternoon. He's got to get Cameron Waldo to end things here. The first pitch. Breaking ball just misses off the plate. One ball and no strikes. Waldo is one for three. Had an RBI single back in the third. Two flyouts in his last two plate appearances. 1-0. 1-0. Ground ball over third base side. Davis fields at shortstop. Long throw over to first. In time! Kozad wins! And they advance and keep their postseason alive with a 6-4 victory over the number one seed in the tournament. An improbable win here for Kozan this afternoon in a game where they fought tooth and nail. A fantastic start from Owen Ross. Braden Grolution finishes it off. The Kozan offense does enough. And the Reds are moving on, winning this one 6-4 to four this afternoon. And unfortunately now for the Holdridge Wilkins, ADP Juniors, their season comes to an early end as the number one seed is swept in the B6 area tournament. We'll step aside. Our post game is just ahead. This is the B6 area Legion Baseball Tournament on KUVR. <laughs> 